let me just help some of you guys out by saving you tons of time. Listen to me when I say, I don't care what it is that you have been putting off, you have been desiring to do, but you're waiting for that perfect day to come, whether it is start that business, go back to school, get married, start a family. Please understand, the perfect and optimum time in life is never going to come. All of the stars are not just gonna align in your favor so that now is the perfect time to get started on whatever it is that you've been putting off. It's never going to happen. You just gotta make a decision and get started. So many of us, like, like we sit and we talk ourselves out of our own greatness. We talk ourselves out of what we could be or what we should be because we're so busy looking at the end result. We're looking at somebody who has already done something amazing. We're looking at this portrait that has been painted and it's just so pristine and so precise and it's this masterpiece. And we're like looking like, oh my God, I'm not ready. I, I can't paint that portrait. You know, I I just don't have the skill set yet. It is a process. You don't have to be great. You just need to get started. Greatness will come. Your day in the sun, your day of success, that will come. But it comes over time. You're going to get better over time. Getting better comes through repetitions. It comes through trial and error. Getting knocked down. Getting back up again. Mistake after mistake after mistake. Failure after failure. No after no. And just keep getting back up. You learn from it and you keep moving forward. But so many of us, you know, we, we, we impose this, this paralysis on ourselves because we're so busy, you know, thinking to ourselves like, I'm not ready. The time is not now. I'm not good enough. You know, I've never started a business before. What do I know about this? Half the people who started business have never started a business before. And the other half who started it, they started, failed, and now they're going at it again. And what they learned the first time through their failure, they apply it this time and this business will be successful. But you just have to get started. So let me help you out because, you know, let's really look at this in very simple terms. So many people, let's just look at life terms, right? People are like, I can't afford a home. I can't afford a home. You're talking yourself right out of that. Why? Why can't you afford a home? You know, if you really think about this, you say, say you're looking at a $200,000 home. I can't afford $200,000 home. I don't have that kind of money in the bank. Okay. Maybe you don't. But if you break down that mortgage over 30 years, you're looking at something like $1,400, $1,500 a month. Can you afford that? Stop looking at the whole. Stop looking at the end result. Like you can afford $1,500 a month, can't you? Most of y'all are paying more than, um, than that in rent right now. You could put that more money towards your mortgage and start your American dream. Start your family in your house. Stop getting shell-shocked and stumped by, you know, the, 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 the end result, the big picture that is already painted. No, this thing is about small steps. If you just break it down into small steps. I mean, we all watch sports, don't we? We see at the beginning of any season, I don't care if it's Major League Baseball, if it's, if it's the NBA, whatever it might be, the NFL, every team starts the same way. One game, you see them getting interviewed and all they want to talk about is this game today and then what is next. That's it. They're not focused on the championship game. They're not focused on the World Series because that is too far ahead. I need to get my wins like today. I need to focus on this win and tomorrow's win. Let me start, you know, just focusing on preparing for what's in front of me. We look at one of the greatest athletes of all time, Floyd Mayweather, 50 and 0. Do you think Floyd Mayweather became 50 and 0 by focusing on Conor McGregor fight back in the days when he first got started? Do you think he was focused on, you know, the fight with him and Canelo or the fight with, with him and Manny Pacquiao? No. He had to climb the ranks. And then when he got his weight up and, and his brand meant something, then he can go after those big dollar fights. 
Stop worrying about that. No matter what it is that you want to do, the greatness will come. If you want to be Steph Curry of the world, of, of the, the next Steph Curry of the world, pick up a basketball. If you want to be the next Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Denzel Washington, Leonardo DiCaprio, go to your local acting classes. Do what it takes. Just get started because it will come. I don't want you guys to miss out on all that life has to offer you just because you're so afraid to get started. Stop worrying about the end result. That'll come. You're going to be great. You're going to be great. You have the talent. You have the gift. And if you have, if you wasn't born with talent and you wasn't born with, with, with a gift, guess what? Work ethic. Work ethic. Beating at your craft every day. I'll take that. I'll take that work ethic. I'll take that desire to get in that gym, you know, figuratively speaking and beating at my craft every day over talent and being born with a gift because you will catch up and surpass people who were born with these gifts, but they were too lazy to do anything with them. Don't worry about being great. Worry about getting started. Peace and love. Make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.